I'm back on the Derwent Walk, which is my favourite local place to have a stroll. And we plan today is back to the viaduct, hopefully see some more red kites. And uh, the Derwent Walk's quite busy. I've only just came on it, and as you're going to see in a second, there's a few bikes going past morning. And uh, moving quite quick actually. But it is downhill anyway. But uh, I like to come down here on my bike as well, as you probably know. And um, sometimes it's nice to have a walk though. Fresh air on a nice day. So 30th of June, round about, uh, I think it's about 10 o'clock. I said um, earlier on that uh, it was almost 10 o'clock. It was actually uh, 10 to 11. And um, so I got the time wrong, but it's now 20 past 11. And I'm still heading towards a viaduct. And uh, I just had a look on me phone up and... Um, it says I've done 1.85 miles so far. Well, that's lovely. I had to take my coat off. Uh, I had a spare jacket in my bag as well. Waterproof just in case, but if it stays like this, it'll be fine. Okay, right, carry on. Well, I've reached the two mile mark. And, um,. Obviously concerts in that direction, Shotley Bridge, and uh, the viaducts in this direction. So, carry on. It's a bit wind there now, so I think I'll best stop the video in case it's interfering with the microphone. It's now almost 12 o'clock, and um, every now and then you get to certain parts of this Derwent Walk, like where I am now. And you just look at it and you think the beauty of the place you know it's absolutely it's absolutely stunning just uh, listen to the birds and everything and uh, it just keeps you going you know you can think about um, heading back sometimes and then you walk around a little bit of a corner and then you see something like this and you think no Keep going. It's so nice. So, anyway, I'm still on my way towards the viaduct, but um, this little stretch is one of my favourite parts. It's now approaching 12:30 um, on the Sunday, the 30th of June, and uh, I'm approaching the the viaduct now. It took us more or less uh, one and a half hours to get here and um, I'm just going to stop in the middle of the viaduct and uh, stand and watch to see if I see any red kites for a while and then I'll uh, turn around and um, I've walked just over I think it's about five and a quarter mile one way so I've got to see him to get back and uh, it's a lovely day for it. You can probably see the sunshine as this couple is walking towards us. And uh, if I see any any red kites, I'll I'll film them, but only if they're close enough. Hope you've enjoyed it so far, as much as I have. I've just came down from uh, off the top of the viaduct. There's a few steps here. You can come down here and uh, just to give you a little view of what it looks like from underneath. Obviously, I mean, there's a river in the bottom. I'm not going right down to the river, but um, you can see the archways there. It was a hell of a construction for its day. And uh, the one that they opened up in, in uh, Black Hill, I wish I would keep that, but I've heard tell that... Uh, it's going to be closed off and filled in 
Um, as I've said before, it's all, all down to money. But um, nice little area. You know, nice to come and have a little picnic or something like that. But um, one day I'll have to walk up here. And I've been down here before, but I'll have to walk up here one day and uh, and just see where the footpath leads. It does go way up there, but um, that's for another time, I suppose. I've been down here once with me drone as well and uh, flew it over the top of the trees and uh, and hovered above the viaduct that was interesting but um, anyway that's uh, that's what the viaduct looks like from underneath I'm just gonna get back up the steps there's a little seat at the top I'm gonna sit there have five minutes and then head back me five and a quarter miles and that'll do us for today